Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, we're always thrilled to get a visit from the East Baton Rouge Parish Library here. Always so many interesting things going on and here to tell us all about it is Mary Stein. Welcome back to the show. Thanks. I'm happy to be here to tell you good things. You're, you're, you're carrying a load of stuff, so I know you absolutely must have tons to tell us about. Let's get started. That's right. Well, this week we're gearing up for our favorite event of the year, the Louisiana Book Festival that That's takes right. place in downtown Baton Rouge. It takes place on October 31st, so make it a really wonderful, fun-filled day. The book festival is from 10 to 5, and we will be there with the library. We will be there wearing these bright and shiny hats. Can't miss that. And revealing the One Book, One Community title for the spring 2015. Awesome. Here's your clue. It has something to do with this. So that's all the clue you get until you come visit our booth in the middle of the fair. The fair is really wonderful. It's a festival. That's really the proper name for it. And it's one of the best book festivals in the United States. This year it will feature writer Tom Piazza, who is going to win the Louisiana Writers Award. This is his newest book, A Free State. And there's also hundreds of authors there to meet, to talk to. There's activities for teens, there's activities for children. There's, of course, delicious food and wonderful <laughs> music. Uh, you can spend the literally the day there. But if that's not enough for you, the day before there are what we call word shops. Instead of workshops, <laughs> there are word shops. And they're for aspiring writers. Oh, wow. You know that Louisiana is one of the cradles of creativity for writing in the world. And um, Louisiana has really birthed some fabulous writers. So let's not stop. Um, the writers need to go ahead and register at louisianabookfestival.org for those word shops and find out all the, the lineup at louisianabookfestival.org. Come see us at the library booth. The bookmobile will be there. And you might see some people in some pinstripe suits. <laughs> Another clue. That's your clue. I, I know you, know, you mentioned the, the writers coming from Louisiana, hailing from Louisiana, and you have an award for that this year. That's right. So Tom Piazza, who is actually not from Louisiana, but he moved to Louisiana and has claimed it as his own. He kept coming back. He writes about <laughs> music. He wrote about New Orleans after Katrina. Um, he is a fabulous writer. He's an essayist, a columnist, just a wonderful writer. He will be featured as the winner of the Louisiana Writers Award and he will make a presentation. This, uh, all kinds of uh, wonderful uh, expos and demonstrations will be there. Uh, there'll be some guests from Washington, D.C. <laughs> there. It's just going to be a great day. In order for you to keep providing all the myriad of great services that you do, I know it's important we mentioned we have a tax renewal coming up that we want to talk about. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the East Baton Rouge Parish Library is entirely supported by funding from a 10-year dedicated property tax. And every 10 years, it just comes up for the voters to say, yes, they want to have a library, or no, that's not working for them. <laughs> um, uh, the one thing that we pride ourselves on is talking to people and listening to what they say. So we've done strategic planning, all that kind of stuff. It just never stops. It's one of our greatest resources. We know everyone will want to get behind that. Tell the folks where they can go to find out more. You can find out more at ebrpl.com, which is the library's website. Mary, thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about it. Great thanks. to see you again. Sure thing. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out about Day of Memories. Don't miss it.